Hello, this is Sam Caligioni. Welcome to the Better Beer Authority. When Sam Caligioni from Dogfish Head Craft Brewery agreed to do an interview, the crew of the Better Beer Authority decided to pack up for the first official BBA road trip. We traveled from Ohio and Virginia to Delaware with plans to visit four breweries. Dogfish Head Craft Brewery, 16 Mile Brewing Company, Evolution Craft Brewing Company, and Fordham in Old Dominion. While some of us flew to our destination, Cheers. Mark Smith was busy driving with Mitch Wilson so that they could load up the car with plenty of tasty beer to bring back to Ohio. We're really psyched to get to Dogfish Head and I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a pretty amazing trip, so we're excited. Our interview with Sam Calagione was first thing in the morning, so our first night was pretty chill. It's the night before we had Dogfish Head for our interview with Sam Calagione. The guys are having a few beers in the background and we're gonna get up bright and early. We hung out at the Hartogs Family Beach House, thanks a lot guys, and game planned our weekend. It was an early wake up call the next morning. We had to drive to Milton and get set up for the interview. What are we doing today, Dave? Driving to breweries, drinking beer, interviewing Sam, 16 miles, and uh, then having a big night at Dog Fish Brew Pub. Get a good shot of the uh, brewery here. Treehouse there in the foreground, tanks in the background. It was scheduled for 10 a.m., but Sam was ready to go a half hour early. Luckily, the guys had done a great job setting up, and we were ready to go. Are you an evangelist? Um, not with any official religious affiliations. Uh, I'm certainly an evangelist for craft beer. Don't forget to check out the full interview after you watch this. After the taping, it was time to do a little shopping at the Dogfish Head store and wait for our tour of the facility. Mark had budgeted a lot of money for this leg of the trip. So much so that he needed a shopping cart to check out. The tour of the brewery was great. We learned a lot about Dogfish Head and he got the impression that the employees really liked their jobs. One of the coolest things we saw were the mammoth wooden Palo Santo Marone tanks. We just sampled some Palo Santo Marone uh, right here. This is the actual wood. I mean, you should feel how heavy this is. I mean, this is, it feels like a rock. I highly recommend you try this beer. It's delicious. It was amazing to see how Dogfish Head had grown from a small brew magic brewing system to what it is today. But for as big as it seemed at the time, it still represents a small fraction of the beer consumed in America. The final stop on our tour was an opportunity to see a 120 minute IPA being bottled. Oh, that made our mouths water. With as fast as the bottles were shooting out, it was hard to imagine that I had recently purchased one bottle for $7.50. Cha-ching! I guess now we know how they pay for those new fermenters. After the tour, we hit the tasting room for a couple of samples. Yeah, here's to the better beer and their authority. <laughs> Cheers! From here, it was on to our next stop, 16 Mile Brewing Company in Georgetown, Delaware. The contrast between the two breweries could not have been more stark. I hope you'll tune in to our next installment to learn more about this small local brewery and see Mark Smith shoveling some barley. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.